I'm glad you mentioned women and men because of a commitment that you made to hire more women, which I thought was quite strong. You made it several times, and I think people need to hear it. Yeah, what we've said is by the year 2030, we're going to double female employment at Union Pacific. Right now, we're at about 5.5% of our employee population, which is woefully inadequate. And it really reflects the fact that some of our jobs, particularly in the field, are either designed in a way that they're not terribly attractive to female candidates, or when we get female candidates into the pool, we don't do a good job of moving them all the way through and hiring them. We're changing many things to address that, and by 2030, we're going to double that percentage. Now, Lance, there's a considerable advantage that you have over pretty much everybody else in transport, which is how little energy, how little fossil fuel you use versus, say, trucks. You have mentioned that, remember, the trucks have insurance issues. There's also drug and alcohol uh, capabilities that are not good. FedEx just reported an amazing number. And I know you have a lot of respect for FedEx because you said their business was booming. But do you think people are going to one day say, you know what? I see the fires in California. I see global. I see what's going on. And I want to I want you to call Lance Fritz, get on that technology they have. And I don't want my stuff done going any way other than by train. Jim, there's no doubt we're already seeing a deep interest in how Union Pacific can advance the ESG interests of our customers. And our environmental footprint is front and center. We, we are so carbon efficient compared to the primary modes of transportation. It's a no brainer to use us if you care about your ESG footprint. Well, one of the things that I, I thought was interesting was that we always heard that the death of coal was going to be the end of Union Pacific. But the lack of, mal of, 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 of how much diesel you use, how little, may be a, a savior. I think that you're right. I think a lot of companies are saying, I know we were up at Microsoft. Microsoft wants its suppliers and its transporters to use the lowest form of energy, and that's Union Pacific. Yeah, that's exactly right. And you got it just right. The, the efficiency of our network does a number of things for us. One, it's built to be reliable and consistent. That means we don't have failure cost. The second is it means we use the resources to their best advantage. So we're a very resource efficient company. That's what everybody wants to be, right? When we talk about a, a circular economy, it's about uh, creating the least amount of waste and using the current resources as efficiently as we can. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.